Well, <clears throat> I'm casing with five tonsil gums. We're back with you here. And uh, yesterday we had a session on <clears throat> the bullet. This trailer, we kept it in there, and uh, I'm not going to uh, explain a lot right now. I feel that uh, it's more beneficial if we just get on with it. We're going to fire up and get in gear with this. After three. If you can see this clock up here, we are going to time this. And yesterday we started off with 77 pounds of lead. We had 14 ingots of lead. Let's charge this up. Again, we are not going to use the strainer. And I told you why yesterday. We're going to do a, a different experiment. this again. It's five out to three. We're in gear. The pot's not quite full of lead. It's about half full of lead. Let's go with that. back on here. Thermometer. We'll find out how long this is going to take. Now I want to uh, reiterate what we did yesterday. <coughs> yesterday. We did the internal strainer which you heat up I think our thinking was pull the bullet jackets up, rake them around, get as much lead out of them as we can. That worked really well. But It took an hour and five minutes to get 14 pounds of lead. That's too much. <clears throat> We're going to try a different method. What I do like about this pot is <clears throat> that you can dip out of it a lot more for a longer period of time than I could have with the Dutch oven which is three and a half inches deep 
and the little dipping pot. We're going to get this going here. And uh, we'll see if this will work. Now, <clears throat> I told you yesterday that we were going to still use this strainer to slide in there and dip those bullet jackets out. We'll try this again. But as backup, we have an end-in trick here for you. And my sweet wife, Mary Sue, she did this last night, but I want to show you what she did. <clears throat> we took another refrigerator compressor, a small one, and cut that back again, cut the top off, off of it, and uh, here's what she has. She drilled all them holes. Now I put the handle on, but I feel <coughs> that with the dipper that you saw yesterday and I just showed you a while ago. Well, the tolerances may be a little bit too close. I probably should have cut it maybe a quarter inch shorter where I could actually set it down in there and we would not have that much of a gap. Anyway, as a backup, and you got to plan ahead for contingencies. We have this little table here that Mary Sue made. <coughs> All right, well, we started about five after three. If you can see this clock up here, and we're going to uh, not waste your time on watching lead melt, and we we get up to our melt, you're going to see what uh, how we do with this strainer ladle. And how we do with Mary Sue's straight ladle. But once we get up the mount, we're going to run hot and hard on this until all of that 77 pounds of range pickup bullets are rendered. Now we'll just uh, cut for a little bit. We'll be right back with you. 